This is the best of the week on Relevant Radio. 888-914-914. Let's go to Jane in Chicago. Hi, Jane. Hi, Patrick. Hi. I'm um, responding about salvation outside the church. Yeah. I clearly know that it's about salvation through him. I know that. That's not my point. But my mm-hmm. point is other people and other churches and other faiths, as long as they put him first, that they wouldn't be excluded. You see what I'm saying? The Church teaches that there is only salvation in the Catholic Church, because there's only salvation in Jesus. In Vatican II, it made this point very, very pointedly, and I'll read the passage to you in just a moment. So this is the case for all those people who have the ability to recognize the truth and embrace it, or they could turn away from it, too. Remember, Jesus himself said, on that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not do many mighty deeds in your name? Did we not cast out demons in your name? And and on and on, and he'll say, away from me, you evildoers, I never knew you. So there are people who do, in fact, believe, well, I believe in Jesus, and I cast out demons in his name, and I do mighty deeds in his name. And Jesus says that for some of these people, it's going to be a big shock to them when they realize that they weren't, in fact, true followers of Jesus. Now, that's not for me or anyone. I mean, it's not for us to decide who those people are. Only God knows that. But we do know that Jesus warns about that, that there are people in this life who think that they're going to be saved and who are going to be shocked when they find out that they're not. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But as far as the the second half of this teaching, for those who, who do hear and reject him, or reject not so much Jesus, but the church he established. It's always been the teaching of the church that there's no salvation outside the church. I believe it was St. Cyprian of Carthage around the year 250. He said, you cannot have God as your father if you refuse to have the church as your mother. And he was drawing upon what he had learned you know, some generations earlier from the apostles who transmitted this teaching in Scripture and also in oral tradition. But the Church says there are plenty of people who just don't know, and it's not their own fault. For people who okay. genuinely love God, they love Jesus, they are repentant, they're seeking Him with all their heart, mind, and strength, but for some reason that's not their own fault, they just don't know, well, the Church teaches that there is the possibility of salvation for them as well. So it's been revealed to us in the Holy Bible how Jesus wants us to do this, to repent and be baptized and enter into the church, and receive the sacraments. Remember, he said, my flesh is real food, my blood is real drink. I am the bread which comes down from heaven. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has life within him. He who doesn't eat my flesh and doesn't drink my blood does not have life within him. So when it comes to the Eucharist, or baptism, or just coming into the church itself, Jesus emphasizes that this is what he wants. So that second part not to be overly wordy here, but the second part is, in the case of those who don't know, we do believe that the Lord has mercy on them and may indeed give them salvation through Jesus and through the Catholic Church, but in a way that's not been revealed to us. What we have to go by is what has been revealed to us, you know. May I read to you that section from Vatican II that talks about this? Would that help clarify it? Yes, thanks. Okay. You're welcome. So this is Vatican II, and this is the document Lumen Gentium, L-U-M-E-N, second word, G-E-N-T-I-U-M. It means a light unto the people, and it's referring to Jesus. And it talks in section 14 about this issue, about salvation. So I'll just read it to you verbatim. This sacred council wishes to turn its attention firstly to the Catholic faithful, basing itself upon Scripture and tradition, It teaches that the Church, now sojourning on earth as an exile, is necessary for salvation. Christ, present to us in his body, which is the Church, is the one mediator and the unique way of salvation. In explicit terms, he himself affirmed the necessity of faith and baptism, and thereby affirmed also the necessity of the Church. For through baptism, as through a door, men enter the Church." Whosoever, therefore, knowing that the Catholic Church was made necessary by Christ, would refuse to enter it or to remain in it, could not be saved. 
Now, there's more both before and after that paragraph, but that paragraph is, you might say, the essence of this teaching. So it's not like, oh, well, that's what they taught a thousand years ago. No, this is Vatican II, emphasizing yet again, this is the constant teaching of the Church, that there's no salvation outside the Church, but yet God has mercy and will have mercy upon those whom he will. That's why we have to do as good of a job as we can to share the good news and at the same time pray that God has mercy on all those others who, for whatever reason, don't enter in. 